Okay. Yeah. I have been called mad before. <laughs> they have called me insane. Some call me Wendell, and honestly, I don't get why the hell they'd call me that. My name is James. That's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> but here's the name of someone we all should know. His name is DK, and he's got a rap for us. Let's, Let's get to the, the beat. beat. Sorry. Yes. Just behold one of the top selling like albums of all time. Like I, I, I'm definitely a fan of this performer and all the collaborations he's done over the years. What about you, Logan? This, uh, so for those wondering, this is sung by George Andreas and Chris Sutherland. No, not that Chris Sutherland. And they were definitely trying to, you know, uh. <clears throat> ape the style of run dmc and this is one of the mo most iconic intros to a game uh let alone a nintendo one yeah i mean say whatever you will about this game at the end of the day but if there's one thing that some at least a good portion of the nintendo community it can you know commit to memory whether they want to or not it's the DK rap. Now here's the thing. I don't remember these lyrics. I I do personally apologize, truly. You don't like it? No, I prefer Buck Bumble. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. That's another one. Oh, I've fun never fact! Did you? Buck Bumble. Fun fact! Did you know that Melee had a new version of the DK rap recorded and everything? Yeah, yes. and it's not that good. Didn't they censor it? Yes, they did. Yeah, they censored hell to heck. And uh, not only that, I'm not a big fan of how like. With every set of lyrics talking about the Kongs, they tried to do it in like a different, different singing voice. style, which yeah. I think is neat. Some of them I don't think work too well, like particularly with Kitty and uh, Tiny. Wait, and Kitty. he had to play it in Diddy? But Diddy and Tiny, I mean. I mean, honestly, right. the, Diddy's is borderline illegible in the uh, new remix. And, uh, new oh. quote unquote. I, uh, I'm kind of biased with my opinion because Melee's was the first one I heard. That's completely fair. At the same time, though, it's like. It's funny I say new remix. Like, that remix is almost 20 years old as of this recording. Right, 2001. Well, it was new to Melee. In fact, this game right here is already over 20, which is making me feel old. Oof. Holy shit! No! Uh, oh, did you also know that the DK... Did you also know that Nintendo of America had a rap contest? Really? It was called I the DK Rap Attack Contest. Uh, back around 1999, and... That, look, look, there he is, and he isn't dead. It was here long, yeah. People could submit a recording of themselves singing this song, and the winner would receive the game, a console of N64, and a trip to their headquarters. Oh, wow. Hmm. I wonder who that lucky sap was. No clue. I'll have to look into more of that later. Uh, but yeah, no, for as memorable as this DK rap is, and you know, how quotable it is, like this part right here. Oh, ESRB rating. But of that all aside, it is kind of sad considering the fact that at least three-fifths of the DK crew here are rarely, if ever, acknowledged again in the franchise. Yeah. Sure again. Like, where's Dixie? Where's Kidney? Where's that? Where's the funky monkey himself? Oh, boy. And why is that guy got a... Oh, explosive. Okay, so getting right to it, James. Enough of us ranting and raving about the song. What is this? So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, y'all will consider me mad for this, but... Within the span of us doing all those DKC redos and within the past few months, I went and recorded a commentary of Donkey Kong 64 for the Nintendo 64, mo often considered one of the most collectathon heavy of platformers ever to grace the gaming uh, community. But I would still argue uh, with all that, I call it dense uh, game design, uh, one of the better uh one of the better games on the n64 like and definitely one of the most ambitious projects rare ever took on ambitious for sure i'll definitely give it that much and say whatever you will about how much this game crams into itself whether it be for a for the sake of you know playing casually or for 100 percent completion like it is a sound game like its mechanics are all there it's just a matter of having to put up with doing that shit times five right it's yeah. like there like are some I would say, like, it is a well-put-together game. It's just that its structure is a little bit flimsy. You want to know there, the sad thing, is, the sad thing is about that claim hype? Mm -hmm. I'm almost debating if that's even really, you know, something to really confirm, like it being a well-put-together game. Because uh, DK64 is notorious for having a really bad memory leak, which could only be, you know, slightly taken care of through the use of a um, ex the expansion pack. Which does come bundled with the game. Look, it's... 
the DK Isles. Which is also DK Island. And it looks a lot smaller than it did the other games. Aww. And those seals whose name I forgot. Uh, they're just seals. I, they might be based on Clapper's uh, race of seals, but otherwise, yeah. But on the other side of the uh, DK Isles is um, a new island deciding to make its rounds. One that's more or less manufactured since it came tumbling down after Diddy's conquest. We kicked his butt three times, five if you count the land games, and he still hasn't given up. Wouldn't it be six if you count the land games? Yeah. Oh yeah, there were three of those, weren't there? Yep. Well, regardless... He just didn't know when to quit. And even and what's even worse is that this time, Tinker Rule's not fucking around. Like, for the longest time, he'd only just worried about, you know, stealing the Kong's banana <laughs> supply or just stealing the Kong's in general. This time, he's taking no prisoners. He wants to eradicate the entire island. And do his best Darth Vader impression in the process. <laughs> And if I were playing him in Smash Ultimate, he would get his wish, but... Let's listen. Oh, his voice acting. I can't understand a word he's saying. Subtitles yeah, could have been helpful, but... Deep. I'll look into his, uh, his voice actor. <laughs> the poor dude. Actually, you say Darth Vader impression? That, he seems more like a James Bond villain here. Oh, he, he's definitely... It definitely seems like a whole... I definitely get a Mr. Claw. He did, he did have the breathing, though, earlier. Yeah, I, I, do, 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 do. yeah, I definitely get a, I definitely get a, a, a duck, a Professor Claw. Oh, jeez, we're gonna crash. Uh -oh. oh, and uh, he is also voiced by Chris Sutherland, who also sang the DK rap. Oh yeah, pardon the occasional weird. What the hell? Fuckery that this game might occasionally have. It should be said that trying to emulate this game has been an, has been an absolute oh. bitch and a half, oh, oh. just to get it to run in the first place. But through some configurations via RetroArch, I was able to get it, you know, looking about as good as it could possibly be on the regular N64. Slightly better than you get on the virtual console, especially. That but, is true. Yeah, this um, is I'm... not. This was not an easy game to try to set up. I want to ask, like, what exactly was like the inherent problems with the virtual console version again? Uh, CP uh, the CPU sped it up. A okay. lot, which could make some games, especially the fairy game, almost impossible without pause buffering. Yeah, but, uh, and, it's un and unfortunately, like, I could only fix it so much on RetroArch, so <laughs> it's not, like, no matter what, the best way to really play this game is through native N64 technology, which, to be fair, good luck trying to get one of those in mid condition. Here come yeah. the guards. I said no. Oh. Including the fat one. But the Kremlins are back. <laughs> the Kremlins have returned to Oh Doof. Sorry! I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hold of golden bananas because of course. I hope you like my pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oop. Grenade. Oh your excellent huh? shape. We've already taken care of Oh, shit. Oh. <gasps> Did he? He's up the other Kong. And not Dixie, that's tiny. Dixie is somewhere else at this point. I'm curious why they didn't use Dixie for this game. Uh, oh, no, this, this is a hologram. Don't worry, he's not captured. Sorry. Back to you, Matt. I feel like it maybe has to do with a... Uh, copyright thing, or they wanted to try new characters, something like that. Maybe. Um, why, it, would it be copy, why would it be copyright if they owned the character? Maybe it was something between <laughs> Rare and... <laughs> maybe DK, DK, come quickly, they're gone! All your precious bananas are gone! <laughs> Again? Oh, that's right, there is some slight voice acting, but not too, too much, but, um... Yeah, like, what you saw there with King Kier rules, like, the most this game really has. Yeah, beyond that, it'll just be nice... Oh! <laughs> It'll mostly be text bubbles, so... Okay, you gotta, you gotta pick some of those bananas up at some point. Welcome to the Grand Jungle, which I just now realized, a nice detail to try and have the background, the skybox, look kind of like the, I think, the second level from DK Country with the sunset. Uh, kind of, yeah, actually. So, yeah, Squatch is here to tell us that, you know, pretty much the Karul's plan has already been put into action. All of the Kongs are gone, as well as all your precious bananas for a fourth freaking time. And we yeah. should probably go see Cranky and see if he's got any uh, any bit of advice to give us. Actually, we oh. say fourth time, but I feel oh. like, wasn't this and DKC1 the only time he actually tried to steal the banana horde? Uh, that, that's actually a good point, yeah. So, yeah. basically, third time. 
But as we're but as we already saw, like he's he's this time he's only stealing the banana just to distract Donkey Kong from his real plan. I become a mad scientist for no reason. Well, if it isn't my lazy good for nothing son, lost your golden bananas again, eh? And where might your flea bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I, I never thought you would be able to smell the work of a stinky reptile by now. True. Luckily, you're all lucky for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. Awesome. But you're not having any of them yet. Until oh. you've completed my oh, training no. barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done done them all. Oh boy. So oh, you're, you're distracting me, boy! Yeah. Here comes one of DK's few lines, I think. And uh yeah. Yeah, right here. What did Cranky mean about training? Donkey all confused. Well, you gotta do tutorials is what it means you have to do and ugh. You know, for as much as they tout DK is a cool guy, I'm not sure how they, how to feel about them having him having DK speak into the third person. Right, even the TV show. Oh yeah, like having some broken English. Ah, either way. So, as we get to some tutorial stuff, which we'll talk over a little bit of it because the mechanics aren't too, too crazy. These are very simple tutorials. Uh, Seely, what do you think of what you're seeing so far? Um, it's weird. I, I've never played this before, but I feel somewhat nostalgic. You said, you were mentioning earlier that you had your, your only, like, experience or your only, like, knowledge of this game was from something, but you said you wanted to wait until now to talk about it. Um, Super Smash Brothers. That was the only Nintendo 64 exposure I've ever gotten of Donkey Kong. That's really? fair. Like, not, not, even the old, not even the old arcade game? Oh, the arcade game, yes. I, I meant 3D exposure. From 64. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, that was the only other thing I... Only other game DK was a part of. I mean, there was also Diddy Kong racing with Diddy Kong, but DK was nowhere near that game. Right. But, um, he was he was in Mario Party. He was in Mario Party. Oh, that's right. He was also in Mario Party. Yeah, the, the All first. Three of them. Yeah, he he was in them up until five, or at least he was playable up until five. And then there's also uh, Mario Kart 64. So actually, yeah, the game was pretty much in mo most, if not all, the Mario spin-offs at the time. Mm -hmm. True, true. But but here but here we see him being treated as less than a. Oh, we now have to throw them. Now we see here him being you know treated less like a Mario side character and the uh, star of his own game. Yay. So, I guess it should go, I guess, uh, well, seeing we're doing this just after we've done all our DKC3, uh, redos, uh, so Donkey Kong 64, from what I've read up on, um, well, first and foremost, if it, if the game mechanics aren't, be, aren't immediately obvious, they most, more or less took a lot of the, uh, cues from open world games at the time, most especially, you know, Rare's other game at the time, Banjo-Kazooie. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I think it's run off the same engine and everything. Okay. Or I mean, something equivalent and... to that. And, uh... it, it, it's the same engine, I believe, the same sound font, which is why uh, the music sounds very banjo -esque. Not to mention, uh, DK himself is voiced by the composer of Banjo Kazooie, uh, Great Kirk. Okay. Yep, he's the one doing all the okay and, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. But uh, yeah, Matt, what were your experiences with DK64? Never got to play it. Uh, but I did play a lot of Banjo Kazooie. And I, well, and you'll be this, able to... this does feel nostalgic, but in more like I played Banjo Kazooie, I recognize uh, this, like this style and all that. I think it looks fun. Uh, the only problem is I have heard the horror stories, and also it's... years ago we I remember us watching in certain streams and all that Logan played this game, and we just kept on. We yeah. were talking like for every good point we had, we had at least five negatives. <laughs> Well, I just so, want to ask James. Go ahead. I was just about to say, I want to ask James. Like, we make all these comparisons to like Banjo Kazooie. How would you say like DK like feels in terms of just like overall control compared to the Baron Bird? Uh, he doesn't quite have as many fancy powers as Banjo Kazooie have together, but I would say he does have slightly better finesse. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's he's like that. He's like that uh, decent middle ground between Banjo and Mario. To okay. compare to compare it between Banjo to compare between this and Banjo Kazooie, uh, I'll wait after this little cutscene. I would have loved if he rolled right in there, and just broke everything inside the ship. Boom! Oops! And now <laughs> Frankie's just over top. your time, donkey. Jungle rusted in, did it? Here, drink this. So, through Cake Cranky Kong, Ooh. we got our first major power up. That being your typical ground pound Ooh. attack. Simeon Slam, Buttus Bashium. Aha! Uh -huh. Why does a po hold on? Why does an ability have a Latin term? Because I, funny. Okay. 
<laughs> it's pretty much. Don't question I don't know. it. Just just go with it. it. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those cases they want to be funny, a la you know Roadrunner Wally Coyote. Yeah. Um. Now oh, the funny thing is, even though that um, Cranky just gave us that potion, and you know DK's the one that drank it, this is an ability that now every Kong you uh, end up rescuing will have, and he's also given us an additional incentive for him for a future uh, surprise if you collect fifteen of what he calls banana medals. All right, well let's get to it. Uh, so I mean, yeah. So as I was saying, to compare this between this and or oh, banana horde, to compare this between this and Banjo Kazooie, it's I have to use this sentence a lot. There's this. But yeah. so, for instance, there is a there's a incredible large amount of moves to acquire with many many upgrades. But this means that this game also has to you know pay for those upgrades using a lot of collectibles and currency items, namely banana coins, uh, uh, banana bunch coins, pretty much a carryover from the uh, DKC. Can I can uh, I games. say can I say one thing? What's up? Mm -hmm. Much like uh, much like. Rare's other nice. game, they, which was successful, they decided to copy a Banjo Kazooie S world system and also the whole collectathon that Banjo Kazooie was. But there's way too much fucking stuff. There's they, way too they, much. They, 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 I, 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 but I see the silver lining. They wanted to create a dense, like, a, pro, a, a game worth your time with a lot of projects and a lot of activities and, thing, and things to do in every world. Honestly, now that I think about it, it really isn't that dissimilar to how some games are nowadays. It should also I mean, be worth yeah. mentioning is that from what I've read up on, uh, when DKC six, or Donkey Kong 64's development first started right after uh, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, uh -huh. they were aiming to make it pretty much true to its roots, like a typical A to B sort of platformer, not unlike Crash Bandicoot, actually. Huh. But then, you know, Rare actually started to see the rise in popularity that op more open-world games like Spire the Dragon or heck, even their own Banjo Kazooie were starting to get. And they figured maybe we should put, we should probably scrap our current plans for DK64 and make it more like those games. And well, here's the end result. Uh, so, um, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, uh, you first. You first. Um, um, but they found ways to solve it. They found ways to circumvent it by having like war pads and. I, again, I feel like these levels are... I, I want to say they're not as... Uh, I want to argue and say they're not as big as Tui's are. They just usually have more rooms to try and keep it from be feeling too uh, empty. Yeah, that's, I'll definitely agree with that. Because say, what say whatever you will about the levels we'll be going through in terms of how much you have to do. I'd say size-wise, they're... Again, a fine middle ground between, you know, the Banjo-Kazooies and the Tooies. What were you saying? Also, um, hold on, before we forget, uh, meet our big endgame goal here. Clumsy. This big lummox named Clumsy. <laughs> oh, hi. My name's Clumsy, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys. Oh, so he's I a friend. Said, no. K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a gremlin. And to stay in here until I'm toughened up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of that said. Okay. Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you can help poor old Clumsy escape? <laughs> oh, go on. I'll, oh, for fuck's sake. I'll be your best friend. Yeah, you have to be careful. The second the text reaches the end of the bubble, yes, it's done. donkey will help K. Lumsy. Oh, hey. I don't know how we are talking through... You know, thought bubbles, but okay. It's the the, the age-old speak, the age-old oh, language tiggering. of the animals. Yes, he's yeah, totally yeah. tiggering. And uh, one thing that's not worth brought about the blue, Kalumzi, through his, you know, happy outbursts, has enough force to literally cause tremors that can open up new passageways for DK to cross through. Hmm. Oh! Clumsy, so happy now. But Girl sure. has taken the keys to this cage and given them the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell Girl, though. This has to be our little secret. There, I actually finished the sentence that time. There you go. Donkey, make no promises. God damn yeah, it. <laughs> It's perfectly timed. Oh, see you. But no, and that's basically our Jiggy Temple is every time we get him a key, he'll be so happy and he will open oh up a noob gate. 
And that right course. there is the banana port at work. Basically, uh, these pads will have these pads have twins, and when you ha activate both twins, uh, you can warp from one yes. one place to the other. Yep. And it's time to get our. Well, it's naughty. Ow! It was naughty. <laughs> and that right there is a watermelon. Our health for this game, and of course, the angel golden bananas. And pretty much. Ah, yeah. oh, darn it! I thought I was going to do the ooh banana. No, oh no, no you, that... you you missed that earlier when um, Clumsy actually opened up that passageway for us. Right, but don't yeah. don't you worry. That's pretty much going to be played in space throughout this entire adventure. And uh, that said, see you all next time as we start our first world for the game, the Jungle Japes. <gasps> Alrighty. Woo! Bye. He's dead.